All right, so let's talk from a distributor price point of three hundred and fifty dollars for a a uh, box uh, equivalent. Now again, it's not. I don't get the boxes. I probably get either free packs or I get the um, what's it called, the sleeve packs, right? They, they're a lot easier for me to sell. That's why I want them. That's why I went with this distributor instead of another one. Because most distributors do not have these sleeve packs, mine does, and it makes it easier to sell because where I live, it is highly unlikely somebody's gonna buy a $400, $450 box, but they could take you know, a gamble on a $20 pack, which again, is still not a great deal, but it's at least um, reasonable in terms of like gambling, right? These things have got out of control, uh, and it's way out of control. Um, the prices every single year, I look at my distribution prices and the, it's a sheet of paper. We do it online now, actually. It's an online website. We have a password code and we log in online. Um, it's getting more and more expensive and it's not something that I think makes sense. I think game stores are making less and less money nowadays. So for their um, cost of goods to go up as drastically as they, and, they, and don't, don't get me wrong, this stuff is really, really costly. Because um, when you order so much of it, I mean, the one concern I really have is, so I carry this other game called Weiss. It was an epic fail for last year. At least for last year, it was an epic fail. It's the game that Alpha Investment invested a million dollars in, supposedly. Now, I think that's a million retail. I don't think that's a million in um, actual cards, right? But um, yeah, he likes to show it off because no one wants it. And that is my biggest concern about these new sets. Lord of the Ring, Commander Mastered. I'm very concerned about these new sets. Should there even be one? Dra so Dragon Maze, let's go back to Dragon Maze. That was a very bad set. And people still have Dragon Maze until today. And Dragon Maze booster boxes are not that valuable. They still have pre-release kits. No one went there. Awful set, did not sell. When a set does not sell, and you buy it, you're not like a grocery store. You can return it, you know, and get a, a refund. No, no, you're stuck with that. So again, there are models in like Walmart, for instance, if Walmart doesn't sell the product, they just return it and get a refund. Um, for the local game store model, there is nobody to return it to. The distributor is not gonna take the return for a product that doesn't sell, that's on you. So you as a game store owner have to be very careful about, how, okay, so, it's two dynamics, right? Let's say you have a really great set like Return to Ravnica. You should put all your money into that. You should put all your eggs in one basket because you're like, wow, the return is so massive, right? And we're gonna sell tons of boxes and uh, this thing's gonna be great. But then you have Gate Crash and then you put all the money in and it doesn't give you as good of a return. Then you have Dragon Maze, you put all your money in Dragon Maze, you're going to zero. That is what I fear for Commander Masters. That is what I think is happening is that there's more and more risk. No idea what that noise is, but my neighbors have been very aggressively making noise this whole time. Um, but there's more and more risk when it comes to um, buying a higher price box. So instead of paying for uh, three boxes or four boxes, right? You're paying for one box. And that one box doesn't sell, your cash flow is going to really suffer. I have no idea what my neighbors are doing, uh, but they've been loud like for the last two months. And the reason this is so dangerous is you got to move like if, if you miss the opportunity to sell commander masters and the opportunity will be there it's a small window and you have a bunch of commander master product that you cannot move the cash flow is going to be three times four times because it costs you that much more money to get these boxes in so if you order a case of this stuff and it's just sitting there it's going to be much more of a liability than a case of a regular uh, regular product like March of the Machines or One Phyrexia. That product doesn't scare me as much because it's still expensive. Don't get me wrong, it's still expensive, still very, very expensive to hold on to. I mean, it's impossible. 
like I, the ideal, right, for a store to hold on to the product, I can tell you it's impossible. You just try to sell it, get some cash flow, buy the next product, you sell it, buy, and the, and the product you hold on to is not because you want to, it's because they didn't sell. And that's what worries me so much about Commander Masters, Lord of the Rings, Martian of Machines, is this cycle, this cycle of just sell, 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 sell. A, you know, there's a lot more sets and B, you know, there's just not as many sale. I mean, it, it really comes down to the fact that a $350 box, if you cannot move that, that is a lot of your money in that one box. And if you have a case of that stuff and you cannot move it, that is a lot of money sunk. That's your rent money sunk into that case. And that's a lot more scary than having a, in my opinion, at least this is my opinion, I'd rather have like three, four cases of a product and then I can maybe five sell product, right? Then one case, I'd rather have three or four cases of a product than one case of a product I can't sell. Because the three, four cases I can put online, I can discount it, there's flexibility and you can use the price support. But when something gets this pricey, it's really hard to move. Um, and, and this is true for anything, right? It doesn't matter if it's a bean bag or something like, a bean bag at $50 is easy to move. You can just sell a bunch of bean bags. Maybe the margins are not that great per bean bag, but the idea is the volume of bean bags, right? Um, when a bean bag is $1,000, like the magic bean bag, and they come with a booster box of for new Phyrexia, the, the, demographic of, for, the demographic of bean bags is already small enough. Now you're talking about the demographic for bean bags who like magic and who have a thousand dollars they can spend on a bean bag. Like it's such a niche category. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hi guys.